What's going on guys, Kichi1230 here with more Grand Theft Auto 5, and today what I want to talk to you guys about is, uh, I really just want to have a nice discussion about the future of Grand Theft Auto Online, and, uh, basically, if there's still hope for it. Now, when I say there's still hope for it, I don't mean that it has failed in any way, but I do think that a lot of us might be starting to lose our patience when it comes to the releases of, uh, certain features, such as the heists and DLC and things like that. Um, so really what I want to do is discuss things like that today and really get your opinions on, uh, you know, how dedicated are you to Rockstar? Are you still with them saying, you know what, take your time on the heists, if they're not ready yet, you know, don't worry. Or are you saying, you know what, uh, we've been waiting for quite a few months and I've pretty much given up on you, they don't look that cool anyway. So, uh, basically by the end of the video, that's what I want to know. But one last thing before we get into it, I've never said this before, but I just want to try this as an experiment and see how the likes and dislikes change. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, but also if you dislike the video, go ahead and hit that dislike button, but make sure you tell me why in the comments below, because I'm curious of, uh, the feedback on my videos. So, with that, why don't we get into it? So like I said, the first thing that uh, we've all really been waiting on is the heists, and I know I've done a heist discussion video in the past, so that's why this one isn't going to really focus on purely heists, but um, as you guys know, as a lot of you know anyway, the heist video leaked, or at least the first heist, and I know that uh, I didn't think it was all that great, I saw the video for it, and I don't know, ultimately I just wasn't that impressed for it, and you know, they look kind of cool, but they just, they didn't really have the impact and the, the excitement factor that I was really hoping for, so what I'm wondering is, do you guys kind of feel the same as me, or am I alone on that? Because as you guys know, besides the future DLC, that's pretty much the last big update that we're expecting, uh, that's gonna be one of the permanent installments in Grand Theft Auto Online, and like I said, that's with the exception of DLC, which hopefully will be awesome, but, you know, that's, that could be months, months down the road, so we kind of need these heists to tide us over, but, I don't know, maybe they won't even end up being that cool, so, it's really hard to say if Rockstar is gonna actually produce something awesome that was worth the wait, or if they're gonna finally come out with it after all of these months, and we all just kind of look at each other and say, uh, so this is what we waited for? Because in my opinion, that's really what's gonna decide the, the replayability of Grand Theft Auto Online. It's gonna hopefully be what makes you want to come back, because as of now, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 has gotten a little bit stale for me. That doesn't take away from the fact that it's a terrific game, one of the best games I've ever played, and in my opinion, one of the best and most influential games that has ever come out. So that's just my opinion. But anyways then, besides the heist, like I said, what are we gonna expect for DLC? Hopefully in the upcoming future now, there's been rumors of the, uh, the Casino DLC. And as of now, we really don't have a release date for that, but what we're hoping to see is the addition of things such as horse racing, gambling, because obviously, if it's a casino, you need to have gambling, because I think it would be kind of cool if we had a different way to risk our money in Grand Theft Auto Online, because right now, the only real risk is, you know, getting killed by other players, but how about being able to win big money, but also, you know, if you're gonna win big money, there's also a large risk that goes along with it, and I think that would be an awesome addition, and then hopefully, you know, there's, uh, talk of potential Cops and Crooks DLC, and just cops in Grand Theft Auto Online in general. That is something that, it's like, Rockstar, come on, why didn't you add that when the game came out? I know you had a lot on your plate, but Cops and Crooks was something that I really enjoyed in Grand Theft Auto 4, and it's also something that a lot of other people enjoyed as well, and it just seems odd to me that the game has been out for, I don't know, four or five months, and we still haven't really gotten that yet. And then lastly, one of the final things that I hope we can continue to look forward to is Holiday DLC. So far, I think Rockstar has done a fantastic job with the Christmas DLC, the Valentine's Day DLC. They don't need to do that. It's entirely unnecessary, but I love it. I don't mean unnecessary in a bad way. Um, they're putting their work into this, and they're making free DLC for us, and uh, it's actually turning out really cool. Now, there might be some incentive behind this, because here's what they do. For the Valentine's Day DLC, they released the Albany Roosevelt, but they made it $750,000, uh, an amount of money that most people wouldn't have. So then what they're trying to do is entice you and say, wow, maybe if I buy some of their shark cards, I'll be able to afford it. And then that's, you know, you're gonna spend your real-life money, and they're gonna get your money, and thus make more money, so I'm not criticizing that at all. Uh, personally, I had enough money for the Albany Roosevelt, and I think it was an incredible car, so the future of Grand Theft Auto Online is, it's hard to say how it looks in my opinion, but I'm not really making this video to share my opinion, I'm making it more to know what you guys think, because um, for me it's kind of bleak, because the heists to me look kind of underwhelming, and as of now there's no DLC that looks particularly exciting, you know, it looks kind of cool, but I really need to see some details for it that are going to make me say, wow, this is going to add hours upon hours of uh, replayability, you know, and then lastly, like I said, the Valentine, or the uh, holiday DLC, DLC. That is a cool thing. So, taking all that into consideration, what do you guys think of the future of Grand Theft Auto Online? That's really the point of this uh, discussion today. I would love to know what you guys think. So, as always, please tell me what you think in the comments below. And with that, please stay tuned for more videos in the future. I will see you next time.